to talk about mainly common mistakes that people make on their pages in regards to grammar and a few solutions for these quick ones. Um, so we often make mistakes because we do not check or care to check the quality of our work which reflects on the agency in terms of professionalism and to you as an individual when when you make such mistakes eh, it kind of makes you look like you're incompetent or you're not so intelligent to the employer or to other people which is it may not be the case because some of these things are you know small small mistakes that can be avoided so i'm going to start with the common the most common mistake and the biggest of them all is punctuation wrong punctuation involves the wrong use of punctuation marks when constructing sentences and some of these include wrong use of commas using too many of them where they're not needed instead of putting it here you put it here which doesn't make sense and it changes meaning J joining two sentences or two independent clauses uh, two main statements without using a word or punctuation to connect them so those words that connect and because of that join two major statements so you just you write like a block statement that makes no sense joining two major things I don't know if you can ask in case you don't understand then wrong word usage I put this example because <laughs> I wanted I don't want to I just wanted people to read it so you understand what I'm saying so there are two you can have two words that sound the same or I even spelled the same almost with like a change of one letter and you use them interchangeably in the wrong scenarios like this this is supposed to read it was a breath of fresh air but this is breathe so this is a mistake because of the e and it's it changes the entire statement then spelling mistakes these come i think these are obvious but uh when you're doing things hurriedly reading writing very fast you make it's easy for you to make mistakes um I think these, in regards to our pages and whatnot, for me these are the three major mistakes that people make. Spelling things wrongly, using the words interchangeably, then punctuation. I would also add using words wrongly. Like you, maybe when you're not sure what something means, then you just add it there. That, but it's not as it can feature, but I didn't think it was major as major as this so i just i put a few examples can you guys see just yeah words that are used interchangeably there these um this is a problem of punctuation i think he was trying to say i love her comma period <laughs> and he just said i love her period which sounds completely wrong just or creepy yes this is supposed to be punctuated as well toilet for disabled elderly pregnant children it just sounds like that's like one person who is then no smoking allowed yeah so <laughs> so yes um sorry yeah so this the, the first uh these first the, the runs with red and white are mainly words that we misspell especially these three then two two and two then that comma where you're trying to say you are then you say you and then you are so they are small small things that change the entire what you're trying to say they change the meaning of whatever you're trying to say so um we're going to just go into solutions now quick solution so Grammarly is your friend I don't know if everybody here knows about it but it's a tool that helps you detect errors um, even when you're not sure so you can download it and you know get familiar with it reading this is a problem for Africans but 
reading does the most for anybody who's trying to build their vocabulary anybody who's trying to get better at writing it also it's a source of knowledge obviously so the more you read the better so you can start with small small things like newspapers just read like read to you know improve the way you speak the way you write um it's kind of long term but i think it's it's a very it's a good solution um microsoft word this is also obvious but even when some of these things are obvious we still make mistakes you can just pick something put it in word and it will show you where you're going wrong and you're able to correct it dictionary so i don't i don't think people have physical dictionaries nowadays but google when you're when in doubt just google whenever you're not sure just look look something up it helps with synonyms antonyms etc synonyms are words that mean the same thing then antonyms are opposites like good and bad etc they also help you build your vocabulary so if if you have if you know one word and you look it up you're not sure you'll also you know find words to mean that so that even when you're writing your content you don't always have the same word you can always use something else so that it doesn't look uniform then there are so many you can also try to read your content out loud not like for the whole bullpen just to yourself you can if it doesn't make sense in your head then it's wrong if you read something if you if you read it the way it looks like this i love her period if you read it the way it is without because it has no punctuation whatsoever it will sound wrong because it's going to distort your meaning so when you say something to yourself loudly there's a way if it doesn't sound right it's not right um i don't know if you guys have any other solutions these are the simplest i could find there are so many there are really really many but these are the ones that will help you in the short run and that is my presentation thank you guys i don't know if you have questions